Welcome back. There's new help for the thousands of Americans living with a rare bleeding disorder called hemophilia A. It's an inherited lifelong condition where a person can experience prolonged or spontaneous bleeding because their blood doesn't clot properly. The FDA recently approved a new treatment just in time for World Hemophilia Day. And here to explain why that's so important for patients is Associate Medical Director from the Bleeding and Clotting Disorder Institute in Illinois, Dr. Jonathan Roberts. Dr. Jonathan, thank you so much for being here. Hey, thanks so much for having me. No problem. So give us a little overview. What is World Hemophilia Day and why is it so significant? Sure. So World Hemophilia Day this year is April 17th, and it's endorsed by the World Federation of Hemophilia, really to help shine a light and uh, uh, provide access to people with bleeding disorders and hemophilia. Yeah, and can you tell us more about hemophilia A and its impacts on patients? Sure thing. So actually, I myself also have severe hemophilia A, and hemophilia A is a deficiency in one of the blood clotting proteins, factor eight. And so factor eight, when it's deficient, can actually lead to bleeding complications, like you mentioned, chronic pain, bleeding into muscles and joints, and really can affect patients' activities of daily living. So traditionally, the treatment for people with hemophilia is infusion, intravenous infusion of clotting factor eight concentrate. And people usually do a few times per week or every other day uh, to help prevent bleeding events and then also extra treatment if they have a bleeding episode. Wow. Well, I, I didn't know that you yourself were, uh, you know, dealing with hemophilia mm -hmm. A. I, th I think this is so amazing to get this type of information from someone going through this. Can you tell me what are factor activity levels? Sure thing. So people with hemophilia A are educated to understand what their clotting factor level is. And we want to make sure that their factor eight level is at the appropriate level for them to do the different type of activities they want and ultimately to prevent bleeding. So for example, when I was younger and playing uh, baseball in high school, I would want to pay attention to what my factor eight level was so that I knew that I was safe to uh, play baseball. And then also if I had a bleeding event, what my factor level was so that I could actively stop the bleeding that was occurring. Wow, okay. Now, I do hear that there's new treatment for hemophilia A. Um, what can you tell us about this and how it impacts factor activity levels? Sure thing. So I'm here today on behalf of Sanofi and want to highlight one of the new therapeutic options called Altuvio, which is a clotting factor concentrate that patients are able to infuse once a week and have normal or near normal clotting factor eight levels for most of the week. Um, and actually, if you look at the clinical trial data, the annual bleed rate was 0.7, which is less than one bleed event per year. Um, now, some patients could experience headache, back or joint pain, allergic reactions or inhibitor development. So it's important that patients talk with their doctor about if this treatment option could be right for them. It may not be right for everybody, but it's an, another option that we have uh, to treat people with hemophilia A. I love that. And like you said, it is so important to speak to your doctor about any kind of treatment that you're seeking out. And um, I love getting this information straight from you, like straight from the source. I love that. <laughs> Jonathan, can you tell us where people go can go for more information? Sure thing. So they can go to altuvio.com, which is A-L-T-U-V-I-I-I-O.com. So three eyes. Thank you so much. Yes, everyone, go to that website. Jonathan, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate you. Thanks so much for having me today. Take care.